Scorpio. Welcome to your new love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. Yes. One of the number one requests. Do new love. Do new love. You got it, babe. You got it. But let me tell you something. You attract exes. Mm. Like the day is long. So don't be yelling at me if I see somebody coming back around. That's not my fault. Spirit's going to show me what Spirit's going to show me. But yes, I will concentrate on new love. Yes. So do keep that in mind. <laughs> and then also, if it speaks to you, if it vibes with you, if you like it, if you dig it, if you're liking the energy, please comment and thumbs up. Please do not be a stranger. Let me tell you, it's the comments and thumbs up that tell me if I should continue to do something or not. So if it's, if you like it, if you're into it, I can incorporate it into a monthly view. Okay. I'm sorry. A monthly reading. I'd be happy to, but I got to make sure that the interest is there, right? All right. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Scorpio new, Scorpio new, Scorpio new, Scorpio new. Show me Scorpio new, please. Scorpio new. Scorpio new, please. Scorpio new. Scorpio, show me new. Show me Scorpio, please. New love for Scorpio, please. Lessons learned. What are the lessons learned that Scorpio needs to carry over? From past relationships into the new. What are the lessons learned here? Be yourself, baby. You and... That's beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. You and Aquarius, you both pulled your power card in the opening position. That's fucking beautiful. Be yourself. There are many people who have rejected you because you were too something. You were too much. You're too this. You're too intense. Be who you are. Stop trying to modify yourself to other people. You are death. If it does not serve you, end it. Fuck yeah. First impressions. Some of you needed to hear that. Justice. First impressions of your new person, that they are fair and balanced, could literally be a Libra. Your first impressions of the new person, they could literally be a Libra. That you might have Libra in your placement, they might have Libra in their... That's not the point. It's they are fair and balanced. Like this. They are fair, they are balanced. Kind of neutral. Kind of neutral in quality. That first impression. It's rather substantial. It's like your power energy is meeting somebody else's power. Okay. But embrace who you are. Never forget who you are. First impressions. This person is fair, balanced, just. They might be in the legal system. That's for some of you, not all of you, but for some reason, you really equate this person with the balancing act. Fair, equal, fair, equal, just, 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 correct, fair, equal, that kind of thing. Is the attraction instant? I ask that for a reason. Not everybody's in the same space at the same time regarding mental attraction, because that's a thing. Emotional attraction and physical attraction. Mm -hmm. Is the attraction instant? Is Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot. So <laughs> the devil. Yes. Oh. Mm. You. When do you not pull at the devil? All right. <laughs> I'm like, like it's your fault. It's like what? <laughs> is the attraction instant? Oh God, yes. It really is. <laughs> It might be more on your side, perhaps more on theirs. I don't know. I need to clarify. Uh, that's really strong. Like, ooh. <laughs> no matter if you're done with the Capricorn, they might have Capricorn in their big three, or the big four, I really should say, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, especially if it's a sexual attraction, then absolutely Venus. Um, oh, Ooda lolly. What's the mental, emotional, or physical attraction? Well, I get that. See, this is the instant, it's the instant attraction. It looks like it. But I need to clarify. This is the actual specifics of a person. The mental, emotional, or physical. How you perceive them to what you know to some extent or how you can recognize them in future. Show me the mental, emotional, or physical attraction, please. So, who else pulled this in the exact same position? Taurus. That's, oh, that's funny because your death card actually showed up in Taurus's in this, in this segment. Yes, they did. Yes, you did. Oh, seven of wands, they have strong sense of boundaries. They have strong sense of boundaries. I will not let anything disturb my peace go away. That kind of thing. That kind of backs up that justice energy, especially if this person is fair as equal. Anything that, anything that disturbs the peace, I ain't having it. I'm like, I ain't having it. Anything that disturbs the peace, no. <laughs> so they have a strong sense of boundaries. 
uh, they themselves might practice yoga or just have that physical kind of component to them where their personal health is also, I forgot to say that, where their personal health is also of importance to them. Uh, because again, it's all about the balance, you know, and part of that is how I treat myself and how I treat the world. So again, this person has a very strong sense of balance. Mm, seven of Wands, boundaries. Okay, cool. Challenges to expect, please. Challenges to expect in this connection. Always look at challenges, because if you expect it to walk in the park, nah. What are the challenges, please? What are the challenges? The anticipation. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't like it. <laughs> Three of Wands is like the bane. Like, it's not, it's like in my top five, I don't like it cards. It's like, <laughs> there you, go. you anticipate. Whoop de do. Anticipate what? Them to make the first move? You to make the first move? Somebody gotta make the first I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. When, where, or how will you two meet? When, where, or how will you two meet? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. A structure. Ah, does not have to be work. Does not have to be work. Strong work component. Absolutely. Does not have to be. It's in a practical way. Okay. It's like a repetitious environment. So we tend to default to work, but it can be like a six of pentacles where you kind of just meet on a neutral ground that you're both familiar with. Okay. You might meet this person literally at work, or you might meet them in an area where a space that is neutral, it's contained. You're both familiar with it. Like it's a day to day thing. Six of pentacles has more of that implication. Eight of pentacles has a stronger sense of structure, but again, the same principle applies. So it could be a day to day environment. Like if they know you go to a coffee spot 9 a.m. every morning, boom. If they know that you volunteer at a certain place, like you two volunteer at the same day and time for something, boom. Um, it could also be a time reference of eight does not have to be. We need to see it's kind of open-ended. Perhaps you two already met and it's in a work thing. Okay. Let's see. What's the underlying energy here? Eight of cups. Ain't nobody want that, but a very strong, again, indication of eight. Emotionally having walked away. Okay. What's going on here? What's the underlying energy? The underlying energy here. Are you emotionally available? Are they emotionally available? Or did somebody walk? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What is the best possible clarification for Scorpio? I ain't worried about it, so I see the clarification to be perfect. Honest with you. It could mean many things. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Scorpio. Show me death. Lessons learned. Be yourself. Always be yourself. Six of Cups. You have heartbreak of the uh, the past attached to you where you were made to feel like you were too much or too something. Okay, you might have been manifesting the wrong thing or the wrong person. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like the past reflection. You thought your manifestations were going for good and it turns out you were disappointed every single fucking time. It was like... <sighs> you always tried to... In your past, this is a lesson you have learned. In your past, you have always put your best will and manifestation forward, okay? The manifestation with the Six of Cups, the magician with the Six of Cups. You have always put your best intention forward into everything you've ever done. That doesn't mean it was appreciated or well-received or reciprocated, as you know, which is why you're often in this position of having to walk away because if you are not given an equal to minimum to what you are given, you walk. It's what you do. But that doesn't mean you didn't do your damn best. I'm telling you, many of you heard you're too much. Scorpio, you're too much. You're too much, you're too much, you're too much. And you're just like, what the fuck do you want? I'm trying to give you the best of everything I got. And the other person's like, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? In other words, they did not appreciate you for who you are. You've always done, you've always been the one that has felt more or done more in a relationship. That's the vibe I'm getting from that. Be yourself. There's a lid for every pot, honey. If you stop trying to be who you are, you will never find your match. Does that lessen the odds of you meeting someone easily and conveniently? Yeah. <laughs> but it also means you're not going to just accept anybody. Because again, hello, you're death. You're Scorpio. You're highly selective by nature. You know? You are. People ask me that all the time. How come I can't get Scorpio's attention? Because <laughs> they're not into you. That's it. I just got a lot of thumbs down right now for that. They're not into you. If Scorpio's into you, they will let you know. 
There's a lid for every pot, honey. I know it feels like your uh, your your efforts, your appreciation as the magician have gone wasted time and again, time and again. I understand. But be yourself. Otherwise, you will miss your true lid for that pot. All right. The first impression of this new person. They are balanced and undecided at the same time. Oh, they stay in a state of indecision. And, oh, well, that's a hell of a thing. Your first impression of this person is that they're always undecided. They're always, in the effort to try to be neutral and balanced, they always seem like they're in a place of having to make a decision, or they always seem like they're not capable of making a decision. Labor is often associated with that flakiness simply because their obligation is to be like this at all the time. How can I keep shit neutral? How can I keep shit neutral? So this person's personality is constantly coming across as neutral, but then also simultaneously it's like someone who can't make a decision. That's how their personality is coming across. In their efforts to be fair and just to everybody, it seems like they have a disposition on nothing. <sighs> their personality is neutral as fuck. Wow. Which is... Then why are you so attracted to them, Scorpio? That seems so unlike you. Why are you so attracted to this person who's like... I am Switzerland. You know what I mean? Like, why are you so attracted to this person if they're not... You don't associate them with making good decisions. Because you're attracted to the fact that they're fair? Is that why? They always try to do what's best. But they also always seem to be like, you know, and you know, and you know, and it's make a decision or make a declaration. They haven't made a declaration, but for some reason you're still attracted to them. Why? Why? I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. It's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why. Show me the devil. It's the. Queen of Pentacles, uh, again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's mutual attraction. Okay, but I'm going to go and take a guess. They've never shown it to you. <laughs> because your impression of them is like, you know, I'm trying to make you happy. I'm trying to make you happy. I'm trying to keep everything cool and level. And I have no really outstanding or discerning opinions whatsoever. I'm like mayonnaise. <laughs> so get so much shit for this one uh they refuse to have any outstanding opinions in other words they have not contributed the full extent of their thoughts while you see them very well justice like they're fair they they're they're cool they're by the book they're always balanced but they also have never given you either any sense of direction of their thoughts i promise you privately they are very attracted to you so you can't make heads or tails of their energy oh no scorpio they're like, why do I feel the devil energy with that person? <laughs> well, because it's there, honey. It, trust me. The power of that energy is there. They just don't show it. No wonder you're confused. Queen of Pentacles. Um, something about stability here. Again, heavy earth energy does not have to be. But yes, they are very pleased. You're very, See, Ace of Pentacles. Fuck me. So this is the... Yes, you both have a lot to offer as people. And yes, the the attraction is real. And it's earthy too, man. It's earthy. They would love to get a grip on your physical energy and you would love to get a grip on their physical energy. But the thing is, you don't do a shit. You don't do a damn thing because you don't know. You don't know anything. You don't know. You don't know at all what their thoughts are. Never mind their feelings or their passions. It's like your impression of them is literally neutral and undecided. Strong mind? Yes. Fair? Yes undecided and you don't know when it comes to this person you have a gaping question mark i promise you the sexual attraction is real it's substantial you both you, you both yeah you both like you both seriously i don't know why they won't come forward let's find out some of the seven of wands i do see that they are used to pushing things away anything that's that kind of, this should be a good thing as boundaries, but if they're just used to just pushing stuff away, pushing stuff away, uh, because they don't want it to disturb their peace with that Queen of Pentacles energy as well, that would also make sense. Show me that Seven of Wands, please. Show me that Seven of Wands, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me that Seven, okay. Your intuition. Oh, oh, that's not all. Oh, that's not all. Oh, Lord, we can't do it. Why do you give me five or six? No. Okay. We got the options. Your intuition is telling you that this person is an option, but there's bit to be proof that there's anything substantial here. It's driving you fucking crazy. I got it. I got it. Can I get... 
Can I get a better summary, please? Honey, if your intuition is driving you crazy about this person and yet they've given you no surface proof that they're interested, this is why you're fucking crazy right now. Show me that Seven of Wands, Chariot, Cancer, Card of Cancer. What about it? Four of Wands. Oh. The attraction is there. God, God. The communication and the intent and the want and the drive is there. So what's the fucking problem? Okay. You would love to go to this person, but you feel like you would be rejected. Okay. Your action, your intention, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Wands, your best happiness, action, and intention, okay, is behind this chariot, the driving force. You would love to go to this person, but you also fear being rejected. Okay. Because, again, you don't know where they stand. You have... This is like, I have... I have a stance. This person does not have a stance. Not that you can tell. You don't know where they stand. So you don't approach them. You don't approach them. You think that you would be rejected. The new... The Ace of Cups is here. <sighs> you would love to go to them, but you also feel like you would be rejected. The Seven of Wands, that they would just push you away without even trying. Especially if that's kind of like their MO. Like they refuse to take a stance on anything. To show their thoughts or feelings. Um, you, you're, all this lovely action is behind this forward momentum that is the chariot and you would go to this person literally in the real world, but you also fear rejection. You don't know where they stand. They don't seem to give you, the sexual energy is fierce. So that's why you're confused. This person gives me no indications about what the fuck they want, but the sexual energy is fierce. I would go to them like that, but you also feel or sense that they would push you away. So I'm at three of wands, challenges, wishes, wants, expectation over that, you know, are you waiting in vain? That three of wands, that's why I fucking despise it. And the anticipation don't mean shit if there's nothing to back it up. So, you know, am I right to expect anything? That's your challenge. Do you have a right to expect anything? Okay, do you have a right to expect anything? Should you be watching for an Ace of Cups or your Nine of Cups elsewhere? Or what, what, what do you do? You need to figure that out, honey. This is your challenge. Do you continue to wait? Or do you look for the new? You know? Because, you know, I, I don't deny it, honey. The attraction's fair, so you have a kind of a strong idea of their personality. I don't know why you're so attracted to it personally. I, I, I don't... I get that... that <laughs> There's something in this person that is practical and loving and nurturing and caring and is highly sexual, man. It's highly sexual, but they don't give you anything to work with. I don't... Other than that underlying unspoken energy. Or maybe you are seeing someone who on the surface gives you no indication of what they're... Is that what it is? Are you in a relationship where it's kind of like... When you're alone together, it's, it's fierce and it's physical. It's even nurturing. But when they're out in public with you, they don't show shit. Is that what I'm saying? Is that what I'm saying, Scorpio? Okay. I was about to say, I, that made no sense to me. How you can have such a strong appreciation for their physical qualities and sexual attraction. Okay. Okay, did you uh, two enter a physical relationship and you don't understand how it can be so sexually intense and not have something on the surface show for this person? Is that what it is? They're not giving you any direction or indication of this relationship and you're confused? Is that what I'm saying? You would go to them, but you also feel like they would, so they put boundaries in place on purpose with you. Is that what I'm saying? Should you continue to anticipate their energy or look for new love elsewhere? So this is new. This is new. <sighs> For some of you, this started in January. I'm saying heavy markers to one. Some of the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you two met at work, possibly. And for some reason, on the surface, they act like they don't care. Or that they don't have any feelings towards you. Honey? You know, you need to remember your opening. This is the lesson you were meant to have learned. You always trying to put your best intentions into things that did not work out. They didn't give you enough. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? 
they're not claiming you in public. I was about to say this, this, this. I was about to say this, this. This felt like there was already sort of something there. A pre-existing engagement. Your energies are engaging on the physical level, and you are confused. You are confused. I don't actually think you are. You already know that with all your best will, action, and intention, and passion behind you, you feel that they would reject you outside the rigidity of their particular structure. It's not a judgment, honey. I don't do judgment. I just wanted to figure this the fuck out. That's it. I just wanted to figure this out. That's all. So, that would explain the underlying energy then. Eight of Pentacles. You two met at work, so this has already fucking happened. Okay, this for some of you, this was last August. Like, literally last August, or it started this month, possibly, at work. That would explain why I'm seeing so many past concepts. Yeah, you met them at work. You literally saw this person at work. Perspective. For some more, at least, again, a common shared ground that is repetitious in nature, that is structured in environment. Okay. You need perspective on what your Ten of Cups is, because I don't think this is it. I don't think you were looking. Let's put it that way. I don't think you were shopping, Scorpio. I don't think you were shopping for a Ten of Cups. I think somebody got your attention in a structured, day-to-day -day environment. Okay? You weren't looking for the Ten of Cups. You weren't. And you're now at that point where, you know what? I think I'm ready for love. I don't think this person is it. You already know that this person's going to reject you if you even became spontaneous. This person does not seem to be into spontaneity, okay? Uh, they don't, they have a certain structure or boundary with you, dates, times, rules, all that, okay? And you've accepted it. You've accepted this. Perhaps you had to recover from the pain of the past and this is somebody that was like a friends of benefit situation. Is that what it is? Too much heartbreak and disappointment in the past and you just kind of wanted some shared energies to shake it off? That would explain why they're so neutral about you in public. That would explain why they're so neutral about you in public. They don't show you they don't show you anything about themselves on the surface. You two have a structured, kind of almost scheduled physical relationship. I think you were looking to get out of your old six of cups, shake up at the emotionality, am I right? This is why I don't judge. Life is hard, life is complex. Okay, and if this is what worked for you, you literally, you know, ten of cups. It, you weren't expecting that. I don't think you're in love with this person. I think you're at that point now. You know that if you went to them anyway, there's a good chance they would reject you if it's not under the terms that you two meet regularly. Okay? I think you just, I think you want to move on now. I think that this connection has served its purpose and you're going to move on into new love. You start anticipating it. So the challenge is going to be letting this go. Eight of Cups. Show me that Eight of Cups plays with the underlying energy. You're going to walk away from this person. Yeah, you've already thought about it. Some of you are going to officially cut ties. April. Okay. Uh, anything else, please? Anything else, please? Anything else, please? The lovers. Yeah, you're going to walk away from your lover. Okay. This, this is why I don't do judgment. People have a variety of reasons to get into relationships like this. Okay. I believe that you needed a break or a reprieve or whatever it is you want to call it from shit that just didn't work out or it just exhausted you, okay? You have what looks like a very structured physical relationship with somebody. On the surface and in public, they do not acknowledge you not like that. It is not like that. Could literally be with a Libra uh, or Capricorn. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, you know that, you already know, logically you already know that if you put your action in fire towards this person that they would probably push you away anyway. Okay, you do not meet outside the structures of your agreement. This is a physical relationship. It's like a friends with benefit thing. Okay, and you're fine with it. I see your comfort level, but then it's the challenge comes up. It's time. It's time to move on. It's time to look at new horizons, specifically new love. This person served their purpose. Do you see what I'm saying? This person served their purpose. They helped you heal up, and that would explain why they had such firm boundaries, and it's looking like you did too. Okay. You both kind of abided by the laws of this agreement. Um, to keep it a structured physical relationship, it helps you heal up and move on. Okay, and it opens your heart back up to love. Do you see this? Do you see that? This is why I don't do judgment. Everybody has a variety of reasons why they do. Sometimes what it is they do, and sometimes it has to do with healing. And I'm seeing Scorpio is trying to heal so that they can prepare your heart back for love. 
you know, and it's like you weren't looking for this ten of cups at work and they still not a ten of cups. They're not. That's like I don't want ten of cups right now. OK, um, what I do want is the physical piece. Eight of Pentacle. You're going to walk away from your lover, Eight of Cups. Okay? Eight is a heavy marker for some of you. For some of you, August, last August was a significance, or this upcoming August is. But many of you, you're already in this. Okay, so it's not new love. So if you were wondering, if you're Scorpio and you're watching this and you're like, what's the fucking point? The point is, is that you're not going to have new love with this person. This person prepares you to reopen your heart for new love after dealing with massive disappointment in the past. You know, that's this person's purpose. It's your way of healing up. Okay. You know, you wanted that physical energy so you could get out of it, man. Just get out of there. You know what I mean? Get out of that headspace. Get out of that emotional space. Get back in touch with yourself. And that's your process. And here's the thing is that they're 100% in agreement. They have as many strong boundaries here as you do, if not more so, you know. They have many, and they, they, they get it. But yes, this person's your lover, and you will be leaving them in future. And I don't think they're surprised, to be honest with you. They knew that this was a limited time thing. They did. Okay. Anything else, please? Okay. Recognition and reward. Three of Wands. There's that Three of Wands again. I know. The whole point of this person's energy was to help you get back into your heart space for emotional readiness, not to take away from it. Please keep that in mind. Okay? So if any of you are wondering about, is this my is this person my new love? No, they're not. They're not. They serve their purpose. Okay? Don't force it. Alright? Know when it's time to walk, and I think you do that. Alright? Like I said, Scorpio is highly selective, and you selected this person for a reason. You selected this bond with them for a reason, and it was to help you heal. And so you could open your heart space back up. You see what I'm saying? That's often what rebound energy is, except this isn't rebound. This is like a lovership type situation. They're helping you heal, but in a very different way. Yeah, I see this. Life gets real, man. Life get Real terror reflects real life. That's what this is. Okay? So, yeah, no, this is not your new love. You know that. I think you just wanted confirmation. All right? No. Light. Yeah. I know. You are. You are moving towards your sun and towards your happiness. Like I said, you needed to heal up. Solar plexus chakra. Okay. All right. Yeah, see? Moving on. There's it. Yeah. Moving on. This person serves a purpose in your life. Embrace them for that. As your lover, embrace them for that. Okay? They did their job. In a sexual way. <laughs> Scorpio. I hope this message finds you well. Take care. Be well.